G'day folks and welcome to another Ken's Home video. This is my Bathurst 2004 experience and it's been a massive time since Wednesday uh, with Tyrannas on the mountain being on and uh, I got to run around in the 79 Brock Tirana. There was plenty of pre-race activities going on with the jet van and jets flying overhead, uh, helicopters and these guys on the bike, they were fantastic doing their stunts. vantage point to watch the start of the race. It was right across from the new pits and the control tower and next to that was a big screen TV which there were five others all around the circuit. It's a moving camera, does about a hundred kilometers an hour. The first round of pit stops started between lap 16 and lap 31. Oh, okay. 
he'll come out just triggered the roll. He's come from behind another car and didn't see him on the outside and just got him. So it's the Brock Plato car that's buried now in the sand trap and I'd suggest a lot of damage will into that car. After the first hour of the motor race we decided to get the bus to the top of the mountain and check out what's happening up there. And here we all are checking the view out from Reed Park to the top of the mountain. As we walk across the top of the mountain, this is the view we get from Solon Park. As we watch Jim Richards go across the top, we're now looking at the skyline. Okay folks, we're heading back down the mountain here. There's a view of the S's. And what a view. That's Skatey charging down Conrod Street. This is the view from the top of the mountain looking down. He's just heading into Caltex Chase there. As you can see the back of the pits. And all the camping areas there. Looks great. the view looking back at the dipper as the cars head down towards Forest Elbow. <laughs> and here we go with yet another safety car. It's been a great race so far. There's been a half a dozen litres at least by lap 100. This is about as far as you can walk, which is Forest Elbow, just before you hit Conrod. 
Yep, another safety car. And here's the reason for yet another safety car. Jim Richards ran into a bit of trouble. Or should I say, trouble ran into Jim Richards at the cutting. And that, and that could be a problem too for the Ingle McLean car. Can you believe that? Russell Ingle right behind him. Oh, that's now, mate. That's a pretty shocking vision, isn't it? That's awful. I don't think we want to see that again. We can't Okay folks, uh, the race is coming to a bit of a conclusion, so we race back down the mountain. Here's a view from Murray's Corner, looking up Pitt Strait. That's just about it folks for the Bob Jane Team Arts Bathurst 1000 for 2004. The eventual winners were Rick Kelly and Greg Murphy. Coming in second was Craig Lowndes and Glenn Seaton. Coming in third was uh, John Bow and Brad Jones. And as Greg Russ just said, a record crowd of 60,000 people on the day and a record total of 200,000 people over the four days of racing. Here's our eventual winners, Kmart Commodore with Greg Murphy and Rick Kelly. It's ironic actually, the top three were exactly the same as 2003.